Well, first of all, interview at least three attorneys and consider such things as first, did he or she graduate from an accredited law school or an unaccredited one? Secondly, how many years of experience as an attorney does that individual have? And how many of those years were dedicated to DUI defense? Does the attorney you're talking to specialize in DUI defense? And I mean as a specialist in DUI defense. If you were going to see a doctor and it was a general practitioner or an obstetrician, you would not ask that individual to quote you a fee for brain surgery. You would want a specialist in the field. DUI is a highly complex field and you need a specialist. You should also consider the attorney's ratings by professional organizations. Martindale Hubble's International Directory of Attorneys is the most prestigious, having been in business now for over 100 years. Their highest rating is AV, which is very high to preeminent. And I'm proud to say I've had that rating for many, many years. Another rating system is AVO, A-V-V-O, on the internet. Again, they have a rating system, 10 is the highest, and again, I'm proud to say I have a 10. One way of finding out is just to go to the local court and ask some of the bailiffs and court clerks. They're the ones who watch every day while attorneys try cases. They're in a unique position to tell you who's the best. And while we're speaking about other attorneys, be very cautious of any attorney who makes promises to you when you're talking to him and deciding who to retain. Any attorney who makes a promise to you as to the outcome of the case and what your sentence is going to be is simply unethical. It's not only unethical, it is impossible to predict without knowing anything about the case other than what you have told him. No one can make promises like that. You should walk away as quickly as possible. Finally, avoid what we in the trade call dump truck lawyers. A dump truck lawyer is someone who's going to give you a lowball fee, thousand, two thousand dollars, and because he can't afford to spend any time on the case, is going to plead you guilty at the first or possibly second uh, court appearances without doing any investigation of the machines, the breath machines, or existence of videotapes, or witnesses, or anything else. These individuals uh, should be disbarred, but unfortunately they're still practicing, and you should be aware of their existence. You can almost always tell them by their fee structure.